It is January 24th or 25th, 2017. And I actually don't know. I can say this with a straight face. Um, I don't know if the earth is round or flat. And uh, that concerns a lot of people because I've studied geography and it's really strange. I think the strangest thing. My name is Kyle. I'm the uh, red paperclip guy. If I hadn't traded away that red paperclip, I'd just be a guy sitting there at his desk holding a paperclip in his hand. Just a guy and his two paperclips. And that, you know, that might all be true. But what I'm trying to say is that NASA and NASA uh, put rockets into space and they put human rockets into space. Everyone involved with these SpaceX and these rocket things, uh, fuck you. If you're watching this, you're a piece of shit. You're, you're, you are, I think they're fucking assholes. I think they're losers. <laughs> <coughs> and there you go, the Earth is round. So it turns out though, or, or did they? Uh, yeah, and it, they're fake. Again, two of these, and it's not because I'm angry, it's because you're still doing it. I don't care that I was fooled, it doesn't really bother me actually. Four months ago, like, yes, they're doing it, space. <laughs> I was excited of a rocket landing on a bar. I wanted it to be real. Like, are you kidding me? That's, it's history. So, so my entire life, you know, we've been, we've been growing up here. I don't care that I was fooled. It doesn't really bother me, actually. I think it's funny. <laughs> you know, words, inspirational words, telling stories. This is different. This is, hey, we shot a rocket to space and landed it on a barge. And, you know, science. I was excited. That sucks, that's boring. That's a hunk of metal landing on another hunk of metal. That's got nothing to do with metaphysical power and wonder and I wanted it to be real. Like a boat, is there a boat down there pointing up at the shuttle? Oh no, no, we gotta clear that area out. We gotta, you wouldn't want the shuttle to go up and then have to make an evasive maneuver. Or remember the, sh the Challenger, it blew up, right? When it came down, it whew, would have taken out all those boats. You wouldn't want to be on one of those boats, definitely. Do not go out there, it's dangerous. Anyways, you can tell for yourself that the Earth is not flat. Look at other planets. If you look in the sky, you see a circle. You see up in the air, there, right there. These are lights on my ceiling. Those, look at, it looks pretty round. That must be a sphere, but then you get a little bit closer and you realize, oh, it's just a, it's a bulb. That argument is absolutely ridiculous and it assumes that those lights that we see in the sky are in fact planets. Like what? Um, I've been deep, deep, deep diving on all these videos, flat earth stuff. It's not a bunch of, Tinfoil hat hobbyists. There are like people doing this uh, essentially full time. I'm gonna wear a tinfoil hat. <laughs> this is a message for teenagers. Your parents don't know about this. Space is fake and the earth is flat. And research bubbles in space. I figured this out like two months ago. I figured this out like three months ago. If you wanna piss off your parents, Go tell them the bubbles in space Trojan horse meme. You'll know more than them. You'll be right. Bubbles in space. Bubbles in They're gonna space. get super upset. Bubbles in space. Anyone with bubbles, bubbles, like bubbles, 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 bubbles in space. 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 Bubbles in they hid that from you. Now you have to pretend that you don't know about Santa Claus, right? <clears throat> Water, surface tension, bubble. 